Welcome to Science, Health and Healing, Library of Ali Academy. I'm Dr. Majid Ali. The subject of this article is Cast Oil for Ovarian Cyst Part 2. In Part 1, I read the first part of the letter from Ms. Jaslyn. Again, Ms. Jaslyn, thank you for sending me this letter. I addressed the problem of doing hysterectomy for ovarian cyst and supported her decision to consider castor oil as part of the total program. I also recommended she should have a follow-up ultrasound, a CA-125 test done to make sure there is no ovarian cancer. Now in part two of this letter, I just started the castor oil patch, also started taking iodine three drops a day. And then she's stating she is taking apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons, black strap molasses, two tablespoons, also vera, aloe vera, all combined together three times a day. I really want to try everything natural for at least three months before making a decision. That decision, of course, is to have a hysterectomy and removal of the ovarian cyst. I just ordered natural hormones. Do you think as a doctor that I'm taking the right stuff? At Encyclopedia, my purpose is to provide authentic information. My purpose is really not to take care of individual patients. That would be a disservice to my patient. In part one, I said you should get a consultation from a second gynecologist who is not, far, who is not associated with the first one. I basically support your uh, program. Aloe is excellent. The use of black strap molasses and uh, apple cider vinegar they are known to be very useful. So the idea of combining them with castor oil does make sense. Iodine, I think, is a different issue. If you want to use, take three drops of iodine, usually Lugol's iodine, which means 6.5 milligrams of iodine in each drop, so you're going to be taking about 16, well, about a little bit, close to 19 milligrams of iodine every day. You can do that blindly without iodine test for up to three weeks, but I would not do more than that. If you have been taking iodine before, you really should have a test. You don't want to have too much iodine. But I'm not aware that you can do any damage to yourself by doing castor oil and um, black strap molasses and uh, uh, apple cider vinegar. But I would suggest that you should also add to it Dr. Ali's breakfast. If you are 15 pounds or over in excess of your optimal weight, Dr. Ali's insulin reduction program. Castor oil rubs you can do three times a day, but please on the fourth day, use sesame oil or mustard oil. The real issue under this uh, your condition is that we don't want to miss out an early ovarian cancer. That is the crucial issue. And I, I would really need someone to look at both your ultrasound. Ultrasound of the pelvis is a non-invasive procedure. You can always do repeat it a second time or a third time. And the CA-125 test, you can also repeat and uh, interpret them in a sequential trending way. I can't tell you that hysterectomy is really necessary in your circumstances. The way you are describing, my answer is no. To say that every now and then you have irregular bleeding, that's neither here nor there. The other point that I made is that I love the idea that you're taking in charge of your health. You're taking responsibility for your health. You're seeking diligent information from as many sources as you can. And you made a very important statement. I want to do this for some time and then make my decision. That's a wonderful thing to do. Unless there is a proven cancer in certain places, for example, breast or colon, or in this case, ovary, where I think undue dilation, delay in surgery is not a good idea. But in all other conditions, taking the time, making your body safe for any procedure that may indeed become necessary. That's the point. I thank you for joining us. You can support us. Forward this YouTube segment to your email, Facebook, Twitter contacts. Visit our website, majadiri.com. You can support us also by ordering any number of my books. 26 are available or any number of my video seminars. More than 60 are available. 
and these seminars are about natural healing. There's so much useful information I can present in these seminars using photomicrographs, graphs, give you exact citation, many of the things that I cannot do on YouTube segments. Be well. Thank you.